what is Darper microscope, why it is called so, how it is different from other microscope, how the images are formed in the Darper microscope, and what are the applications of Darper microscope. So we will see all about this in our next slide. Dark field microscope is one of the microscope in which bright images is formed against the dark background. So why called so? Why dark field microscope is called dark field microscope? Because here a bright image is formed against a dark background or dark field. So we can see here in this uh, image uh, that this uh, bright image is formed against the dark background. How dark field microscope is different from other microscope? First thing, only reflected or refracted light which passes through the specimen forms an image. Living or unstained cells can be observed in the dark field microscope. The field appears black while the object itself looks brightly illuminated as we have seen in the previous image. How bright image is formed against dark background? A hollow cone of light is focused on the specimen which contains living cells or living organisms which reflected light from the image enters the objective that only forms the image and that image is formed against a black background or dark background. Here the only reflected light enters the specimen or passes through the specimen enters the objective only that portion forms the image against the dark background. The simplest way to convert microscope to dark field microscope by the placement of this dark field stop here. In the path of the light source, dark field stop is placed. Because of that, a hollow cone of light is formed. And only the refracted light from the specimen enters the objective lens and forms the bright image against the dark background. Now we will see the applications of the dark field microscope. The internal structures of some larger eukaryotic microorganisms we can see under the dark field microscope. We can see here the internal organs of the volvox and the internal organs of the spirogyra. The another usage to identify bacteria like the thin and distinctively shaped treponema pallidum which, are, which is the causative agent of syphilis. So we can see this uh, the distinctive, distinctive structure of the treponema pallidum. We can see easily here that a bright image against the dark background. So that's all about the dark full microscope.